Stargard disease. Research advances in 2022. One, nanoscope doses the first patient in phase two clinical trial of optogenetic therapy for Stargard disease. Nanoscope Therapeutics, a biotechnology company developing gene therapies for retinal degenerative diseases, has dosed the first participant in a phase two clinical trial of its optogenetic therapy for people with advanced Stargard disease. The optogenetic therapy is designed for people who have lost the most or all of their photoreceptors, the cells that make vision possible. The treatment, a small drop of liquid delivered by an intravitreal injection, uses a human-engineered virus to deliver copies of the MCO gene to bipolar cells. These cells don't normally sense light, but often survive after photoreceptors are lost to advanced retinal disease. Two. Belight Bio conducting phase three clinical trial to slow disease progression. The biopharmaceutical company Belight Bio is enrolling adolescent patients ages twelve to eighteen with Stargard disease in its phase three clinical trial for tinlarivant, an emerging oral medication designed to slow disease progression and vision loss. Tinlarivant. Is designed to inhibit a protein known as retinal binding protein to reduce the uptake of vitamin A to the retina, thereby decreasing the production and accumulation of toxic vitamin A byproducts, which are the hallmark of Stargard disease. Three, Elkius reports encouraging results. In clinical trial for drug designed to reduce toxins in retina, the biotech company is conducting a phase two clinical trial for a drug ALK001 that targets the toxic buildup in the retina that causes degeneration and vision loss. The therapy slowed the lesion growth by about thirty percent. The emerging therapy is a modified form of vitamin A, which one. Metabolized in the retina results in much less waste. Scientists developed ALK001 by replacing hydrogen atoms in vitamin A with deuterium. Known as deuterated vitamin A, it burns cleaner than the natural form. Deuterium is a safe, naturally occurring, stable form of hydrogen, which is present in the human body. Four, Stargard disease natural remedy will help prepare for future clinical treatments. Stem active and AC steam are the best combined natural remedy for Stargard disease. Research has shown that patients who supplement with stem active and consistently consume it for three to six months of the year have had, on average. An annual decrease in the loss of retinal function by 20 percent, as measured by ERG in comparison to those not taking stem active, is also the best preparation for future gene and stem cell therapies, which will double guarantee the best treatment outcomes safely and naturally. AC steam device delivers electrical impulses to damaged and diseased photoreceptor cells. This electrical stimulation enhances the activity and function of these retinal cells, thereby reinforcing visual signaling along the optic nerve and partially restoring impaired vision. Five, research team is creating patch derived from stem cells to restore vision of Stargard disease. The patch consists of two layers. One layer will serve as a precursor to vision-enabling photoreceptors. Once transplanted, the stem cells of this layer will mature into photoreceptors. The other layer will consist of mature retinal pigment epithelium cells, 
which provide waste disposal and nutrition for photoreceptors.